All right, guys, today is February the 13th, 2019. This is my older Sea Pearl Tri 21. It's uh, the older version with the uh, swing out Amas uh, and the wing decks. Bit heavier than the Sport Tri, uh, but a lot more beamier and definitely a lot more storage space. So, anyway, I'm going to do a quick rundown. I'm selling the boat. And uh, this is what comes with it. It's on uh, Sailing Texas, uh, but it could be pending. So anyway, a uh, couple of things. Uh, I had to dig it out of the mud because uh, right now it's just nasty out. I mean, the ground is so saturated and of course it got above freezing today. And uh, so everything's melted and now it's mud season. So I'm having a great time. Anyway, um, also I broke the uh, the futon Fulton 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 uh, jack. Uh, it just kind of collapsed when I was trying to crank it up, and the gear stripped out. So right at the moment, it has no jack. They, you know, Harbor Freight 29.95. They're a dime a dozen. So uh, anyway, it's on the Jeep right now. But and I tweaked my winch. So. Uh, uh, still works, still works fine, but uh, it's tweaked. So let's see. I gotta. I'll have to clear that line and 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 bring the boat forward. But uh, okay. So anyway, I want to look. I want to show some chips. It really has got just uh, a beach rash. There's a little bit of little scratches and stuff through here. Little chips and stuff like that. Nothing biggie. It's fiberglass, it's gel coat. Uh, it's real easy fix, nothing structural. Uh, the Amas were, uh, these cross arms were actually uh, remachined at uh, Concept Marine. And uh, I guess the early ones were cast. And so they went back and did them billet uh, to the tune of like $1,800. But um, if you, you want the boat to be safe, and that's part of it. So uh, anyway, so those were done. I've got the receipts on those. It's your standard Sea Pearl coming around, coming around. I've got it, two 100 watt solar panels on it. I'm actually looking for chips. And uh, I want to get a good picture of the cockpit. It's just, you know, it's a cockpit. It's a little bit dirty. Uh, I had it out in the weather with a tarp over it, but you know, a tarp is a tarp. And then my cat promptly jumped up on there and tracked mud all over it. And I'm actually loath to get up on it because I'm going to track mud all over it. So anyway, right now I'm just doing kind of a little walk around. Uh, two 100 watt solar panels. Uh, this is how the boat trailers basically. I've got some gear that needs to go into the boat and some gear to take out, but this is basically how it is on the road. There's a strap here to hold the amas together. Of course, there's a nice big canvas piece to protect everything, and it's also waterproof, but it's got vents, so it does breathe out moisture uh, for long periods of time. Once again, kind of looking for chips. Oh, there's a chip. Looks like it bounced off the dock somewhere. So uh, uh, that's into the glass just a little bit, but that's that lip right there, so it's not even close to the hull. So, okay, paint needs to be compounded out and buffed out a uh, couple more little chips right there you know but I mean it's a boat it's a boat and it's a 20 plus year old boat and uh, so it's seen some stuff uh, cat prints cat paws like I said this is how you you travel with it so okay on this note I'm just gonna go ahead and close out right now um, the files getting pretty big and I'll, I'll download this portion of it. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be sunny, a little warmer, and maybe it'll have dried out just a tad. So I'll go ahead and uh, um, uh, post this. And hang on just for a sec. I just remembered something. All right, so the rudder's off of it right now. So we're going to take a look from the stern. All right, so there's a train right there. Okay, lee boards those pivoting arms there's the other 100 watt solar panels so it has twin to 100 watt solar panels 12 volt um, and part of that is because you know, over here it's blowing okay torpedo goes with it so this is a the early torpedo 401 it's got the 12 volt battery adapter which is much better because you know you can pump as much energy as you want into a lead acid battery and uh, so it pushes the boat maybe in a flat or four and a half knots if the tide's with you. Uh, so anyway, that's going to go with it. That battery adapter's going to go with it. I've got a 100 amp 12-volt uh, 
same cycle battery, AGM battery in there now. And it's already wired up. It's two panels run to a charge controller uh, and then run to the battery. So your battery is almost all the, all the way topped up. The boat sells, sails so well in light airs that you know you're almost your gas tank's almost always full and i kind of like that it's got an extra set of sails uh, i've never actually even pulled them out of the bag uh, they were blown out is what the last owner said so there was no reason to but they go with it okay here's the rudder there's the motor mount to it uh, you get two spare tires and a bearing kit and the reason you get those two spare tires and they don't they're not that bad they're different treads uh yeah they're definitely different treads oh actually one of them was the spare and the other one's just uh, uh was on the trailer but uh the reason you get those is because i blew a tire and said screw it so it's got basically two new tires and rims and races and wheel bearings they're already greased lubed up ready to go and then you have two spares so okay so once again kind of a quick little little profile i had to use my jeep to get it out of the mud because it is well if you look down there look how nasty that is and it's just going to get it's not going to get worse but uh tomorrow is going to be even warmer and uh, all the snow melt and all this ice and crap is finally melting my lakes are thawing out which is a good sign but uh anyway it's ugly so uh uh this is stage one. Oh, oh, one more thing where are they oh here they are so in some pictures, you'll see it on Sailing Texas, there's two different canopies. One of them I would call like a Bulger, uh, Phil Bulger, I'm not sure if I'm saying that, walkthrough, right? And this is what this is. And this is them all tidied up and put in their compartments uh, and their bags and stuff like that, right? So they go with the boat and you'll probably see it tomorrow or you can see it in the pictures. I have the full brand new tent canopy for the boat that um, uh, Jim down at Marine Concepts uh, found the original plans for it. So it comes with the uh, uh, the tent canopy and I had him make a, a bimini and they're both in this kind of aquamarine color too. Uh, so anyway, brand new. I've used them maybe once. So you get the this, this version of it, which was the stock version. You get the secondary version, which the PO put together which actually fits really really good I just and you can walk fore and aft with it too and it allows you to sleep on the wing decks my thing is is I wanted the wing decks for solar panels so I went with the original and uh, let me tell you it's really roomy so okay anyway I'm burning up a lot of time here I'm gonna close out and uh, we'll do another one tomorrow so we're clear